It all started when we made this film called Four-Eyed Monsters that was received well, but didn't get any kind of distribution. So we created a whole video podcast, which you can watch off the website. And that led to people wanting to see the film, but we didn't know where they were. So we created a map and we just said, hey, request a screening of our film and we'll plot you out on this map and we'll show how many requests are coming in to each city. We'll figure out the epicenter of all these different requests and put on a screening there. We were able to get a screening in all of the cities that had at least a hundred requests. And actually one request ended up equaling approximately one ticket sold. And that was 31 cities around the country. So how can you do this with your film? On Open Indie, you can just first of all browse around and see all the films that are on there. And if you like what you see in the trailer, you can click request. And if you're so inclined, you can even organize a screening. Once the screening has been organized, they list here and ways for people to promote um, to get more requests there. And then you've also got a whole map that anyone can see to figure out where people are that want to see a particular film. So you might be a film festival or a movie theater looking to curate movies. You can use these tools to figure out what the demand is for any particular movie. In this video, I'll give you a thorough explanation over the next 10 minutes on how to use all of the cool little features. When you add your film, all of the obvious information is needed. And then there's this interesting checkbox. If you check enable screenings, then this means that people can set up screenings. This is a way that you can create a page even before your film's done or before it's released and allow people to request screenings of your film so that as soon as it is ready to get released, that can actually happen and you'll know what kind of demand there is for your movie. When you let people set up screenings of your film, you have to provide a way that they can get the movie and be able to screen it. In our case, we're using Vimeo to make it available. There's options on Vimeo for allowing it to be downloadable. Download the video, this is checked off. So that means that people can download um, QuickTime Movie and that's pretty important because they might not have internet access. If they do have internet access, another option is using Seed and Spark. You can upload your movie here and sell downloads. This is good for people who don't wanna just provide a free download to the world of your movie. Um, which is a choice for you to make. Um, but Seed and Spark has this 4100K option there, which is pretty high quality uh, footage in, in full screen over a projector. Um, so, however you do it, there's, num there's so many options. You put that URL here. Then you describe here information about the screening. Um, one of the things that we recommend is that you use the 5050 partner license. You can read up about that at 5050partner.org. And what it basically is, is it just is a Creative Commons style license that says anyone can screen your movie anywhere they want. And the only requirement is that they give you 50% of ticket sales. And so if you take the language from, from this site, it instructs you on how to do it, add the language. This content is blah, 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 blah. Copy that and paste it into the message for your screening host. And um, you can put your different payment options like Bitcoin here. If you don't have Bitcoin for your movie, you can go to coinbase.com where you can quickly create a Bitcoin wallet. They give you a Bitcoin address and that address is where you can receive money. It will show up on your Coinbase account and you can link it to your bank account and you can get that money um, into your bank account for your production company or your films LLC or whatever legal entity you want. You could put other things in here. One idea is to sell bundles of DVDs in 10 packs for a reduced cost. So that way they can sell various merchandise at the screenings. Okay, so once a film has been added, you now need to know a little bit more about how to set up screening. So from your film's page, you or anyone who's using Open Indie can organize a screening. Now, whatever message you've put there with the instructions will show up for the person who's putting on the screening. And then they can put in all the information about the date and the time, location, 
more information. And then usually here, you want to, um, you know, click below for tickets. You want to, you know, put any kind of information that's needed. Plus, you definitely want to, if there's going to be tickets for sale, you, you want to mention that there's tickets at the link below. And then, on something like brownpapertickets.com, you can set up a ticketed event where, you know, they'll sell a ticket for you. And then on Open Indie, you, you paste that in here. Now, let's say it's a free screening um, or not something that you can even buy tickets for in advance. In that case, this might just, you might not say anything about the tickets. Um, you might just put maybe like a Facebook event right here. Um, okay, so then once that's set, you'll have a screening listed there. And that's the majority of what Open Indie does. There's a couple more advanced features. Um, one is if you want to really create a, a big campaign to get a lot of requests. Um, what we recommend doing is having your video say something about it in the video. So you'd say like, maybe after your trailer plays, you introduce yourself, you know, you let people know that you're a real person, that you, you know, you and your team made this movie, and let them know that if it's going to screen theatrically, you need to know where people are that want to see a screening, and invite them to click um, request to request a screening. Just like that. And, um, now the other thing that you can do in the video and also on Twitter or Facebook is you can promise special rewards um, for people who have requested a screening. So I'm going to set that up right now. I haven't actually done it yet because it's a newer feature. So the way you do it is in the film's dashboard, you can manage the film and then you can manage requester rewards. So you can add this at a later date if you don't have it at the beginning. So what you do is you manage um, the video <clears throat> here. You hit choose file. And you can navigate to any file on your hard drive. And let's see, where is the one? I made a short film that um, that is now uploading. So what this means is as soon as they've requested the screening, they will be sent to a page where they get this video. The reason we're doing this is because there's a needed instant gratification. <laughs> and if you just say, hey, request a screening and someday we'll come and do a screening, they might actually want a screening, but not think that it makes a difference if they take the time to request the screening. So you can say, hey, we've got a secret message for you, or we've got a deleted scene, or whatever you can think of, but it's really good to reward them immediately and not have it just be this long-term investment for them. Um, okay, so in another window, um, I wanna talk about the final advanced feature. Now this relates to the number one reason that maybe you wouldn't want to use Open Indie unless, you know, had you not watched this video, a lot of people would assume, oh, I'm taking my fans and I've got this opportunity to ask them to do one thing and instead of asking them to like my Facebook or follow me on Twitter or give me their email address, I'm asking them to request a screening on this random website you know, for just this theatrical window of this one campaign for this one movie, it seems maybe like a wasted opportunity when maybe you could get a Twitter follower who's gonna maybe support your filmmaking for life or however long Twitter lasts. Um, so that's reasonable thinking, and I understand that. And because of that, we have made it possible to actually get the email addresses of everybody who has requested a screening of your film. The way you do that is you click requests, or you click export request data from your film's dashboard. And we describe what you should and shouldn't do with this. You can't go and sell this email address, you know, and you've really just got to um, 
you know, you've got to use it responsibly. It's, but they, but we do consider it to be your audience, and we do allow you a way to to get that. Now, you still might be thinking, why not just ask for their email addresses to begin with, and then email them all when the screenings are organized? Well, the reason why is because the beauty of Open Indie is that it manages that for you so that you don't have to send an email to everybody on your mailing list because you got a screening in North Dakota. But if there's 300 people near the city where your screening is going to be taking place and you don't send an email to them and they're fans of yours and through Open Indie, you know, we have their zip code, like that would just be a complete failure. So what Open Indie does, this is its primary function, is that it sends that email for you with the details of the screening. And so then that way, the the whole reality really works. You know, people can come to Open Indie, they can discover different films watching the trailers, and when they like a film, they can click request, which I've already done on that film. Um, here you go, click request. And if, if the filmmaker has set it up, they can even get an instant reward um, for being a requester. In this case, this filmmaker didn't set that up. And so my hope is that now that you know how Open Indie works, you can do the basic steps of getting your film added to the site, um, uploading your trailer, but ideally a custom version of your trailer that actually explains what's going on here and suggests to your audience that they request the film and that you invent some kind of a requester reward and you tease it in the video so you're telling people hey you actually get something if you if you do this and that then you post that to Twitter and Facebook and whatever email you know contacts you already have you can you can send it out to them that you can get an organization to partner with you. Maybe they're related to something that you made a documentary about, um, you know, or maybe, maybe they're, um, you know, a festival of some kind, um, or whoever. Maybe you just have a f friend with a lot of Twitter followers. You know, you you start spreading the word, and and you know your trailer is really compelling, and you've got a really earnest request at the end that that you want them to request your your film for screenings and it could blow up you know this technique that we pioneered with with four-eyed monsters back in the day building our little heart map has been picked up by paranormal activity got over a million requests and that led right into their theatrical distribution and uh, i see a lot of films actually employing this method but None of them are doing it properly. None of them are doing it in a way that actually u utilizes this mechanism to then email the people who are near the, the screenings. Because um, without using Open Indie, none of this would be possible. Um, you know, we had to build all this stuff from scratch to make it work for our movie, and we've ported that over into this into this platform that makes it available to everyone. And um, it's still in beta, so. There might be some bugs here and there, um, but this is a collaboration, and at the bottom of our site, we've got a contact page here um, where you can actually report any any kind of discovered um, bugs or anything, uh, as well as feature requests. Um, we're also looking for developers and programmers. Our team is a volunteer team. Um, we don't have investors. Um, we're looking for that as well. Uh, so, you know, get involved with Open Indie and in whatever way makes sense for you. And if you have a film, you know, give it a shot. You know, don't just throw it into the mix, though. Actually make a video and actually promote it to your community and, and um, give it some love and you'll see what happens. We, we got 8,000 people that requested our film all over the world. We got uh, 31 screenings, um, you know, all over the country, any, in any of the cities that had at least a hundred requests. So it, it doesn't take that many, you know, like a little bit goes a long way. Um, and if nothing else, you can, um, you know, at least in the, in your hometown, you can at least probably, you know, 
be a big fish in a small pond. <laughs> because a lot of times with the internet, you know, we end up a very, very small fish in a very, very big pond. And theatrical is a way to be a big fish in a small pond. So I invite you to join and be a part of it.